Hello, today's project involves live plants and glitter. We get this question a lot, how do I glitter a live plant without actually killing it? So Design Master Glitter for Glue is the glue that we suggest for glittering plants. A light spraying will allow the plant to breathe, a heavier spraying will stop the plant from breathing. So the lighter you go, the better. For this lovely little plant, we, I've decided to use polyester glitters. I've got some pearlescence and an iridescent. I've got Ozark Orange and Stargazer Pink for the pearlescence. And Pink Patrol for the iridescent. When applying this, you can either mask off each flower or spray the flower and then blow or tap the glitter onto it afterwards mask it, you take a piece of paper, wrap it around the head of the flower, give it a light spray, and you can sprinkle or blow. As you can see, it gives a light dusting. You can go heavier if you want, but the light really does have a dramatic effect. With the next plant, we wanted to show you the difference between translucent iridescent glitters. We have a polyester, which is the Glitterati Rainbow. We have a craft, which is the Disco Iridescent. Translucent iridescent glitters they allow the color of the plant to come through while still giving a glitter effect. I like the disco, I like the chunky craft glitter for the bigger flowers. It really gives that big sparkle without overpowering the plant. Once again, I'm going to mask off. As you can see, the dramatic, the dramatic difference between the chunky and the fine flake on the glitter. Our next project is going to be the cut flowers. We're going to use some craft glitter, both chunky and fine, to show you the difference between the two.
So now I'm going to show you the difference between the two disco iridescents, the fine and the chunky style. As you can see, chunky versus the fine.